So when you go to create the um, the bootable flash drive, I use Rufus and you wanna choose at least a 16 gigabyte flash drive. Um, you're gonna select your ISO file and then you're gonna make sure the partition scheme is on GPT and the target type system is gonna be UEFI non-CSM and just leave that to be NTFS and you're going to create that. So it took me a long time, but I finally figured it out. This is the Acer Nitro. Uh, here we have the model. So the AN51554 and what you gotta do, so you're gonna press F2 to come into the BIOS. You're gonna hover over you're gonna make sure that the F12 boot menu is enabled. You're gonna change the SATA mode to AHCI. You're gonna just disable those. Fast boot, you gotta make sure it's disabled. Um, you wanna make sure the virtual TD that, that's disabled and the other one's disabled. For security, you definitely wanna make sure you set a supervisor password and um, and then down at the bottom, just make sure under the boot right here, boot mode, you wanna do UEFI. I don't even think it even gives you another option. And then you wanna make sure secure boot is disabled. And now look, I have option do my Kingston flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead, save changes. And then I'm gonna hit F12 when this thing boots up. So I'm gonna hit F12, boom. And I'm allowed to choose that USB drive now. And it should allow me to boot from that. So this is probably not the best flash drive, it's really slow. Saw a little lag there, but as you can see, I'm able to download Windows now.